We know that all things work together for the good for those who love God, who are called in accordance with his purpose. The Epistle to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 28. Upon some things a believer can be absolutely certain. He knows, for instance, that God sits in the stern sheets of the vessel when it rocks the most. He believes that an invisible hand is always on the world's rudder, and that wherever providence may drift, Jehovah steers it. That reassuring knowledge prepares him for everything. He looks out over the raging waters and sees the Spirit of Jesus treading the waves. He hears a voice saying, It is I, do not be afraid. He knows too that God is always wise, and knowing this he is confident there can be no accidents, no mistakes, that nothing can occur which ought not occur. He can say, if I should lose all that I have, it is better I should lose than have, if God so wills. The worst calamity is the wisest and kindest thing that could befall me, if God ordains it. For we know that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. The Christian does not merely hold this as a theory, but knows it to be absolutely true in fact. Everything has worked for good as yet. The poisonous drugs mixed in fit proportion have worked the cure. The sharp cuts of the lancet have cleansed the proud flesh and made good the healing. Every event, as yet, has worked out the most divinely blessed results. And so, believing that God rules all, that he governs wisely, that he brings good out of evil, the believer's heart is assured, and he is enabled calmly to meet each trial as it comes. The believer can, in the spirit of true resignation, pray, Send me what you will, my Lord, and so long as it comes from me, never came there an ill portion from your table to any of your children. Say not, my soul, from whence can God relieve my care? Remember that omnipotence has servants everywhere. His method is sublime, his heart profoundly kind. God never is before his time, and never is behind. Amen.